<laughs> I want to nut the demon, man. I want to nut him, man. Go on, yes, today we are checking out Diablo Immortal. Blizzard. I feel like that's not really saying much these days. whole way through just Diablo 4 why why are we not seeing that because they had some really cool stuff coming up for it it's just kind of like we go back to all this remaster stuff as well see people just don't seem to be bringing out I don't know where that is because new games is because where that is because they hold and trying to keep people there you know what I mean until they can bring out this I, I don't know I don't know, bro. I... <laughs> oh, I get you. Yeah, yeah. Just like they, they, they haven't finished the new one. It's not polished. But so here's a little something. A little something. So this is something just to keep you occupied for now. You know, just just you know, play with this for a minute. You know, play with this toy till this <laughs> one's done. Yeah. I'll just imagine like the dangling of the keys. Like, yeah, just, just look yeah. over here. Yeah, look, look at the these keys. Lovely look at the keys. keys. Don't worry about this over here. Look at the keys. Yeah. You know what, that's actually yeah, really yeah. effective, because even though there's no keys, I still want to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's fine, it's, uh, um... The oh, I'm, cinematic, I'm too tired for this. <laughs> yeah, the cinematic is really good. Um... Oh, let's enjoy a little more of it. Yes, let's go. Beast. <laughs> Beast. I like right. how he just head butted that one with the horns. Whack! Do you think... I don't care. Do you think we could I be seeing that. the beginnings of a Diablo animation? Like an actual animated series or movie? I would love that. Um, you know what I mean? Things like this. like, like the, mm. When they bring out a, a trailer like that, sometimes it can disappoint game, gameplay. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean? Um, like, you see that and you think, you know what I mean, I want to actually do that in game. Now, I know Diablo isn't that way inclined. I know that Di Diablo is a, a, like, kind of like a platform and it is, you know, well, it's, it's not... A um, click. Uh, click an RPG. Click, yeah, yeah you click an RPG, yeah. I mean, nowadays, yeah, yeah. It's a l there's a few more controls and stuff, but uh, yeah. yeah, essentially, you just click at the enemy. Yeah, click at the enemy kind of um, gameplay, all right, and then... But to have, you know, when you, when you see a... a uh, like a cinematic like that, you know what I mean? You you wanna you wanna nut the demon, don't know, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I wanna nut the demon, man. <laughs> I wanna nut him, man. I am not hearing yeah. that in the right I way. <laughs> in the neck. There's habits. Yes, that's what I want. So a good um Yeah, love it. <laughs> you know what? Give my primal instincts out by now. You know, I just want to do that, you know. So, yeah, um, cinematic, really good. Um, whether it'll do justice on mobile is another thing, you know, it's kind of... I just, I, I just want to appreciate a moment for that, that statement. Cinematic yeah. was really good. Not game. Not gameplay. No. <laughs> the cinematic was really cinematic, good. Really good. Yeah, this is what I mean. And I, like, a lot of cinematics can... You, know, you see, you see a cinematic like that, which is you know really intense, really you know visual, really you know the stuff they do in. But then when it comes to gameplay, then you don't get to interact with what you see. So you get to click. My opinion that yeah, you click. <laughs> I don't want to click. I want to click an X. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so Ooh, yeah. Well, I've just realised that we. 
We stopped a little premature. There's uh, 18 seconds yeah, left. Anything post credit? Let's go. There we are. See if it gets us a little bit after the end. Oh. <laughs> we do see. This is this is iOS device. This is Android. I mean, what what are your mm. feelings towards just mobile gaming in general? I don't mobile game, bro. To be honest. You know what I mean? Mm. When it comes to phones, mobile phones, I have a mobile phone for one specific purpose, uh, and that's just to call people. You know what I mean? Uh, my gaming experience has got to be quite quite immersive for me to, you know, I want to, when I, when I play a game, I want the full, I want the full wah. You know what mm. I mean? I don't think, I don't feel like I have that off a phone. You know what I mean? And a phone is more of a, when you sat down bored. Yeah. Yeah, no, no I thing, can. You know what I mean? I can definitely on get a train, behind that. on a bus. Yeah, on a train, on a bus, or something oh. like that. So, I was going to say, sticking with that thought. So that was the the trailer from the official Diablo Immortal YouTube channel. Uh, we're now going to check the IGN first seventeen minutes of gameplay. So this is where we actually see that, you know, can a phone possibly provide that? And graphically, no so far. Yeah. I mean, this is what I mean. Um, the cinematic doesn't match up with the gameplay, you know? And I think in a lot of aspects, that should happen with um, with games in, in general. Well, at least that looks nicer. Yeah, they've neatened up the UI bad. a bit. Yeah. yeah, it don't look too bad at all spiders why are there always spiders in like every game i know freaking hate spiders i left australia for a reason <laughs> <laughs> well, they're gaining abilities at a pretty good click skip it through for a boss That, that reminds me of Scarbrand off um, Warhammer 3. You know what? I wouldn't even want to hesitate a guess whether or not Warhammer influenced everything else or it was influenced yeah. by. Like, it's so integrated very, very into fantasy now. So similar in um, modeling. That's kind of um, a bit of a button smasher, isn't it? Yeah. It, it's Diablo. At the end of the day, Diablo... Yeah. Diablo was kind of more revolutionary for the mechanics behind it and kind of the storytelling i know it seems a bit weird mm. nowadays looking back at that because the story is it's pretty standard pretty cliche but i mean that was where the cliche really was embedded in gaming and the idea of having everything on a single map with a, a central hub town was perfection but go on so just seeing a bit of gameplay there obviously this is early level stuff so you're not going to see everything and it's going to get more and more exhilarating as time goes by which does draw in the huge huge question i have when it comes to any kind of rpg it, it always feels like it's kind of pointless showing off the early game like what what can you even show off mm. there? well well you showed off well quite a bit but then if that's early game you got all their mobilities got up and you're in late game you know what I mean? Granted, but so the abilities it's... were pretty. I mean, it's play... they're playing barbarian, but they're pretty mm. standard. I mean, it was just like big hit, spinning hit, rage hit. Yeah, well, you know, they they are bringing a lot now out on to uh, mobile now. When they um, a lot of it, does... I don't think it needs to be. It takes the fundamentals from the game, then I suppose, when it comes to you know transferring it over to where it's not meant to really be played. Now, granted, phones today are really, really technically advanced. Don't get me wrong, but mm. um, in my opinion, I think some games should just be left for consoles or PCs. You know, and just if it's not broke, don't try and fix it. You know what I mean? And and then you know, we we've had a talk uh, a lot in the past about you know money making. You know what I mean? And uh, you just feel that it's just it's just a money maker, and it's just you know. I am so glad you brought that up. Yeah, because. it's just a moneymaker. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this coming out to me, I mean, originally this this was announced ages ago, and it was literally responded with the whole "Is this a joke?" Like, we, yeah. we, we don't care. Just bring well, out yeah. the Oblo Four. Well, they have brought it out, and just hazard a guess. 
So this is a mobile game. It's based around looting and grinding. The end game gear is what you're aiming for. Ballpark figure. Try, have a guess how much that's going to cost. What do you mean now? The game itself or To altogether? buy the end game gear to be fully upgraded and ready to go. 500? Ooh, that's sweet. <laughs> Uh, I just trying to be one hundred and ten thousand dollars or eighty eight thousand pounds. What? Yes, surely not. So this is this comes from the gamer. A uh, they're actually a pretty good website. I do recommend them. Go check them out. I'll put a link in the description. Diablo Immortal disappointed fans when it was announced it was a mobile game, not a true PC and console successor. It's managed to ruffle even more feathers with a predatory microtransaction model that means you'd have to pay about 110,000 USD or 88... Would you say for great, great British pound? GBP? Go GBP. Yeah, GBP, yeah. Yeah, GBP, To yeah. fully upgrade your character. Unreal. Yeah, it is unreal. That's that, that, that is immense. such a, that, That's... That's sickening, Alice. That's absolutely sickening. You know what I mean, that's pissed me off now. <laughs> like, it's, that's terrible, Alice. This is the thing I was saying, right? Like, oh my god, that's why I thought about five hundred pound. Oh, that's, that's bloody you nice. <laughs> yeah, but you know what I mean. Very much I, 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 my, 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 my mind I think you can get a left even comprehend that. that kind of figures, man. We weren't comprehending that kind of figure, you know what I mean? You know, but and you, you I, wouldn't, I, I, you I wouldn't thought, ever think of it. Yeah, I thought five hundred pound was excessive, excessive. But that's yeah. just taking a mick out of it. You want to be ashamed of yourself. The thing is, right? It doesn't matter how good the game is, because people are coming on. They're saying, "No, it's, it is a fun game. It's good." Nothing will ever excuse anything. I mean, no. for God's sake, five hundred quid! I would have been pissed off at that. Yeah. Thousands? Excuse me? Baking powder? Yeah. No, like, it's... Why? How was that possible? <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I, I kept trying to think. How was that possible? I actually downloaded this game and started playing it, trying to be like, okay, there must be some... Like, they're, they're over-exaggerating, or there must be something going on that... I don't know, maybe there's something ludicrously expensive you can buy... Yeah. ...that gives you a cosmetic. I don't know. I haven't found anything yet. I'm still playing it. It's okay. And I'll be back. As soon as I find out what the hell has cost them a hundred of bloody crap. That does a, that how is that even Jesus. possible for a game? Like like you do you get what I mean. Um And so I've got to ask you this right. What what would you say is the most you've ever spent on a game? I mean one game. You can add on DLCs, expansion, cosmetics, but just not a series, not a franchise, the one. Um just the one game. But all the DLCs for Armor 2, I say. Yeah, I'd probably say I'm right up there with you. For Armor 2, I most probably spent, you know, like 100 quid on all the DLC. Well, how much was it? It was. What did we work it out before? It was like with the game and everything else, you end oh, up well, buying the game. You were to actually buy everything for the it. Thing. It was like 180, wasn't it? Something like that. Oh, yeah, so that's one I'm right. three. I Let me look at this. One. Stop age. That's ri I can't believe that. That's ridiculous, Alex. Yeah, so this is for... 100,000, man. A full game with... I mean, so actually, I should state, Warhammer 2 would not include Mortal Empires unless you include Warhammer 1, which is now mm -hmm. a DLC as far as I'm concerned. But if we ignore that on its own... Oh, God, I have to try... And, I have to, <laughs> it would be 6,580 yen. Give me a second. <laughs> I was going to say thousand pounds. Bloody hell! I need to sort my finances out, man. But that is ridiculous. Alex. I've never used so much stupidity on all my life, but I have. But that just takes a mick at us. Right. So this is quick conversion. Uh, going by Google, we've got yeah, roughly one hundred nine pounds to buy Warhammer Two plus all of the DLC. And right. If you add in, because um, as we said, you do kind of need to include. Warhammer 1 with this because it's basically yeah. a DLC. It opens everything up. Let's take a look how much that would be. So that would be ooh, a little less than double. So, like, let's just say 200 quid, keep it easy. 
200 pounds for two games plus all the dlc yeah and i wouldn't even be able to tell you how many hundreds if not thousands of hours i have wasted in those games yep compared to 110,000 that's ridiculous no no, no to be I, fair 88,000 let's do it in pounds keep it all the oh, same yeah. 88,000 yeah you want yeah so, great that ain't a money making machine that ain't is it that's taking a mick at us i'm not i'm not even gonna get a game now huh it's for free as well. Try it. That's the sad yeah, thing. Yeah, I'm not even going to I'm not even going to do it. <laughs> they can piss right off now. They'll piss me off now. That's, you know what I mean? It, it's just like, obviously, you know, I've been gaming for a long time, right? Since I was a kid, right now. I'm 35 mm-hmm. now. So, you know, you're looking at 25 years, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I can remember, you know, Commodore 64, Atari. You know what I mean? I've, al- I've always had, you know, I've always had some sort of console or some sort of, you know, PC in my life, right? Uh, playing, you know what I mean, from from everything from Age of Empires all the way up, right? And now that experience has obviously, you know, put me in a position where I've become a YouTuber and everything like that, right? But then things are changing at such a dramatic pace when it comes to all this crap. It, it does mind nothing because it feels like, you know, a lot of the passion um, these people, you know, the people in charge are, are losing yes. for these games. And these games should be, you know, I mean, they're releasing games early. They release, oh, you've got to pay for this, got to pay for this, got to pay for this. Don't well, just put it in the game, you tits. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I don't want to rat now. Like, that, that's blown my mind out. That's 180,000 no, odd I pounds. fully stand with you. And I think this brings back, because we talked about this quite a few times before, and I've said the exact same thing multiple times on VFP. When it comes to Diablo, and we were discussing yeah. the original Diablo and how much it, it was a passion project. Yeah, that game came project. out and the original developers were losing time developing because they were playing their own game. They were getting carried away. But that's you, it. You've got to play the game The developers couldn't even play this because they'd need to buy the in-game items to play it. What I mean, the If hell? you have £80,000 to spend on a game like this, right, you don't deserve no money. You don't deserve no money, right? <laughs> well, I was just thinking you don't deserve a house, but actually you wouldn't have a house because you'd have bought the place. No, you game. wouldn't. No, because that is just an unnecessary amount of money to pay for stuff in a game. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Now, I know we went over certain things before about, like, um, was it the simulator games and stuff like that? And they, they were like, oh, they were stupid money as well, weren't they? You know, I think it was like how much? Was yeah, there? it was a uh, train train sim. I think was like the most expensive game if you were to buy everything yeah. for it. I think it was train sim. It was either that one or uh, lorry bus. Yeah, something, lorry, some, something like that. Yeah, because I remember we went yeah. over in one of the earlier podcasts, and um, that that was ridiculous. But mm. come on, man, you know what I mean? What you're trying to do? I mean, that, was, still, to I think that like... was only a few thousand. I don't think that hit the 10k mark. Did it? No, I no, I think it was around fourteen thousand. But like sure that, as hell it? weren't hitting eighty. No, that that's just ridiculous, isn't it? It's just oh my god, how? I I I it's just still mm. I can't comprehend in my mind. What amount of stuff in this game costs that amount of money? Well that that's what I was saying. I've been playing it trying to see that and I think you've always got to take this sort of thing with a massive heap of salt because to get that kind of figure, I'm willing to bet they've said you paid for everything. Which very few people are going to do. Chances are you're going to pick up a few bits here and there. But considering that is the potential they could sell, which is of course is going to be the aim they want to sell. Very sketchy and very questionable uh, practices going on there. And on top of that, you have to consider, well, if that's the max, what is the percentage they expect? Because I would expect usually for a free-to-play game, someone to be spending... Uh, I would say dedicated to it, probably around the region of 200, maybe 300 pounds over the course of a year, depending on how much they put into like getting, you know, boosts yeah. for their stats or buying new seasonal gear when it comes out. I mean, I would hope that it would, that would be a lot lower than that, but that does so, seem it's to be... Estimate, is it? right, if, if anyone from the developers are watching this, okay, um, just clarify this for us all right because in my opinion that's that's an Mate, i think they've got enough amount. of a job going on with uh dousing fires to be looking at yeah anything. dousing <laughs> bloody fires yeah no 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 bloody sherlock bloody hell excuse me. i have a bloody nora man 
you know, I, that's why I said 500 was excessive to me. You know what I mean? Mm. It's like, don't get me wrong. It, it, well, a DLC 100 is a part excessive. of game. Yeah. 100, 100 is too much to be spending on one yeah. game. Honestly, you mean I can't afford to do that? Well, honestly, as I was saying, like when it came to Total War, you're looking at 100, 200 pounds. To me, that is still a hefty supply. Uh, yeah, you're getting two it is. games, you're getting DLC, but... Hey, you're. Uh, well, the thing is, see, is where you, you you can put it into a couple, couple of different aspects, all right? No, 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 no. Now we could have a whole different um, podcast on this, right? But I'm just going to touch on it now, just for the principle of this conversation. Like, I, I like game and addiction, right? It, it can hmm. be a very, very bad thing, especially with people with mental health and stuff like that who can't, um, like, you know, satisfy the reward system in real life, and they turn to a game to do that, right? Now. With that, um, when you bring games out um, which need this excessive amount of payments to, I mean, that could put a lot of people into trouble. And I don't, and yep. they need to put that into perspective, you know what I mean? Because these people, like, for example, just to touch it, it could be the meaning of paying a rent for a house or buying DLC for a game, you know what I mean? Yeah, and we it is, it's we like, already know that's happened. That's happened with multiple games. Yeah. It's, a, it's a genuine issue we are facing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which, and, and, and I think, you know what I mean, if, if they did have the game as heart, you know what I mean, in in thing like they say, you know what I mean, they, they wouldn't put people in that position, you know, because people these days are well, easily led. I think led, they're now you know creating I mean? that. You know what I mean? Because, right, so not, not only do we know that human attention span is decreasing, which yeah. is so, so bad. Bad. But, yeah. Yeah, we've got genuine issues with new generations and also, you know, our generation included, we've gone down, they've gone down, it's going to keep going down. That needs to be addressed. And things like this, games like these, where they're now providing the option, well, you have a short attention span, why don't you uh, make it fun again? Yeah. Is directly marketing that problem. But on top of that, we do know from previous years, I believe it was Epic was the one doing it, where they were employing people, psychologists, people who understood addiction, to come in and help them design games. I mean, there's a reason I just don't trust or particularly like any AAA even, or any developer yeah, or any I business. The, even if I had the money, okay, I would not spend that. You know what I mean, you know what I mean? I'm very particular when it comes to buying. If you had the money, it. you would know not to spend it in the bloody first yeah. place because you wouldn't yeah, have gotten exactly. the money if you. Yeah, it's. Do you know what I mean? That's what I say. If you, you could spend that kind of money on a game, you know what I mean, and you don't deserve any money, you know what I mean? Because money's, you know, it, it, especially the world the way it is now today, you know what I mean? Everything's going to, everything's going to man, and you know what I mean? It, it, little yeah, things this, like this. This is this. the worst time to bring something like this out that's going to drain limited resources yeah. to begin with. This is what I mean. It's kind of like, well, you know what I mean? People people turn to games. People turn to that. Um, I, I, I certainly do. In times of stress, in times of this and that, you know what I mean? Um, for that release, for that, you know, um, a dip from reality, you know what I mean? And as soon as you start putting that pressure, that stress then on people who take that way, you know, mm -hmm. by putting that extra stress on them because they need this to come go forward with the game or they need this, you know what I mean? You, you're never going to get that, you know, you're never going to get that area, you know, for yourself then, if I'm making any sense to other release you know what i mean because you're just going from one reality to another reality one where grind the to same another grind same, one grind to another grind because at the end of the day you having to go grind from one reality just to grind in another reality you know what i mean when it shouldn't be like that should it you know what i mean and and that's why like we've had loads of conversations in the past that we're about you know what I mean? The the all the old idea of gaming, the old idea of development, the old idea of the way they publish games now, this and that is is completely changing. You know, yeah. and now it's all about right, just do something as quick as you can. Um, get it out there. People will buy it. You know what I mean? And we'll add all this in later, which should be actually in the original game, but we'll sell that one too. You know what I mean? It's just Yeah, it is the mick take. The mick take this Yeah. Anthem. I, I stand by that statement. Anthem started all this. They had a broken game and they thought, sod it, release it. Let's see if any bugger buys it. Some buggers bought it and now it's yeah. it's stuck. It's stuck. That's that's what we had. <sighs> that was such a bad game. You know what I mean? And the thing, the amount of money the developers, these gaming companies must be breaking in. It's 
stupid, 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 stupid amounts of money, right? So if we, 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 and there's people like us and all millions of people around the world who are giving them those opportunities, yet they can't even be asked in some occasions to put in the half decent effort to bring us out the full game. Mm. You know what I mean? It's just turned into a, it's, it's turned yeah. from a... Not, not even just a full game, a working game. Yeah, a working game. It's turned from a creative passion to a creative money machine, haven't it? You know? And I wouldn't you know even I mean? say like creative God. anymore. No, it's not even. I mean, well. this, this is Diablo three with a, a few more, well, lower yeah. resolution but different maps. <sighs> it bums me out sometimes, dude. But on a brighter note, yeah. <laughs> and on that bombshell, bombshell, yeah. <laughs> Come on, on that, that bombshell. that'll do for today. Well, uh, yeah, Diablo Immortal may or may not be good. Do check it out. It's for free. You might as well. Uh, don't put not a single penny into it. Penny into it, mm. yes. Just uh, disconnect and, your and card. Cl cl clarify as well if anyone who knows anyone or anything like this, if that is a true number. Now, it says it on Google, mm. right? Now, if it is, okay, then that's blown my bloody mind because that is just, that's just ridiculous. Um, I'm hoping it's not, you know what I mean? Maybe I shall do some digging myself, but I'm sure I'm only going to find what Beta's has found. So, yeah. So, on that bombshell, yeah. See you again. Peace out.